Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are diving into something incredibly exciting and highly requested real-time communication using WebSockets with Laravel and React. In this video, we are going to explore how to set up WebSocket in a Laravel backend and connect it seamlessly with a React frontend, whether you are building a live chat application, real-time notification, or any other feature that requires instance update, this tutorial has got it you covered. So let's start with a demo. In here, as you guys can see, I have a React app opened and also my Laravel application. So whenever I uh, trigger an event, it will send a message to my Laravel application. So if I open the console in here right now, I have nothing in my console. So when I trigger an event in my Laravel application, as you guys can see, I get a messages. So I can do it more, refresh, and it will pop up in here. It will be display. So let's see how we can set up this. So let's start by creating a new Laravel project by opening our CMD and in here let's type composer create project Laravel slash Laravel and give it our project name and press enter. Once the installation is done then we have to type cd laravel websocket to enter inside our Laravel project directory. Then after that we have to install broadcasting by typing php artisan php artisan install broadcasting and hit enter again now in here it will ask you that do you want to install reverb we will say yes and enter now it is asking us to install and build node dependency in here we also say yes and enter once the broadcasting installation is finished then we have to install the api by typing php artisan install api and press enter okay the api has been also installed now in here it, it won't has to run migration for now we will say no because we have not set up our database yet so just type no and enter then at the end we have to publish our course also so let's type php artisan config publish course and enter for now everything is set let's close the terminal and open our project in our vs code so let's open laravel websocket and in open with vs code now let's go to config and in here we have a file with the name of course.php and in here in the paths array you have to add broadcasting slash odd then go to apps model and to users model in here add a new trait with the name of has api tokens with the class also after this go again back to your config folder and odd.php and in here add this to inside your array inside your guards array now let's go to our .env file and in here let's set up our database connection by uncommenting these lines of course and changing sqlite to mysql and give uh, your database name for example laravel websocket now let's open the terminal and in the terminal let's type php artisan migrate now it will ask us that the database is not available would you like to create it press yes enter now migration is done now we have to create a controller for our login and registration method so let's open the terminal and type php artisan make controller odd controller enter okay the controller is created now let's open the controller then in here let's import odd hash and user models then we will create three methods in, in here one for register ring the user one for log out and one other for login the user now let's go inside our routes and api.php and in here let's create our apis one for registration one for login and one for log out none also let's import the odd controller in here so let's uh, bring the odd controller now let's go to postman and create a new user with the name of admin and the, with the email of admin at gmail.com and click the send button okay as you guys can see i have the access token and the token type in here now that we have successfully registered a user let's go and create some events to broadcast our message so let's go to our vs code and let's open the terminal in here let's type php artisan make event 
and give it a name so i am going to make this even to broadcast on public channel so everybody can listen to it even if they are not logged in so that's why right now i give it a name of public channel but you can name it anything you want so let's press enter now let's open our public channel event and in here the first thing that you have to type you ha have to type implements should broadcast after this we also want to send a ma message with our event when it broadcasts so when construct we will type message as a parameter then we will create a public message and assign this message with this message then we, let's scroll down and set our broadcast on we have to change private channel to only channel and give it a my public channel so this is the name of your channel you can name it anything but i just added my public channel so our public channel is ready now let's go and create one more event for our private users who are logged in so let's open our terminal and in here let's type php artisan make event and again let's give it a name i am going to name it private channel event let's press enter it's created now let's open this and also in here let's type implements should broadcast enter now let's scroll down on the construct part in here i will create two variables with the name of data and user id and in our my construct also i will have two parameters with the name of data and user id so i will set the data with data and user id with the user id now let's scroll down and in in my broadcast on in here i will uh, delete that channel name and give it uh, my own channel name with the name of my private channel and after this i will add a dot user dot and give it the user id which i will get from here to set it in here now let's go to our routes and inside our routes to channels.php now inside our channel we will create a new channel with the name of my private channel dot user same thing that we add wrote in here my private channel dot user so let's uh, dot user and we will send the user id as a parameter then we will create a callback function with two parameters one for user and one for id then inside here we will say if the user id is equal to id then return true and at the end we will protect this channel with the guard sanctum and also don't forget to add this in this uh, channel as well so let's add this here also now everything is set in laravel part let's open the terminal and in here let's run our reverb by typing php artisan reverb start and enter okay the reverb is running on this address 0.0.0, .0, .0 port 8080 80, and let's run our queues also by opening a new terminal and in here let's type php artisan queue work and press enter okay so our backend is complete we don't have to add or edit or install anything everything is set now let's go and create our react app and start with the front end development so let's minimize this and inside our root directory in here i will open the terminal and create a new react project by typing npx create react app and give it a name of react web socket and let's press enter once uh, the installation is finished then we have to type cd and let's copy it from here let's paste enter our inside our directory then we have to install laravel echo and pusher js by typing npm install dash dash save dash dev laravel echo and pusher dot js let's press enter okay the installation is finished now let's close the, our terminal and let's open laravel react websocket with our vs code by going to open with vs code once it's open then we have to go to source and app.js then in here 
first we have to import pusher.js then we have to import the laravel eco after that we have to require pusher.js then we have to create window.eco is equal to new eco and set the broadcaster to reverb then after that we have to add the reverb key we can find it inside our laravel project let's go to dot env in here and let's scroll down let's scroll down until you find reverb app key let's copy this and let's paste it inside here then after that set the ws host to local host and ws port to 8080 the same thing that is in the terminal if uh, we open our laravel project and terminal so as you guys can see in here in the terminal it's local host and the port is also 8080 and it's written local host in here as well so we have to write exactly what is it in here so we will write it same like this then force tls to false set it to false and encrypt type uh, encrypted also to false then enable transport we will set to ws and wss then after that we have to set out endpoint to our laravel pro project url for now it it is laravel websocket dot test so if i open this url and remove broadcasting dot slash odd as you guys can see this is the project that i am running web sockets on it my own project so let's go back to our vs code now we have to send our token as well so for that i will create an odd object inside that object odd object i will create headers object and in there i will set authorization as barrier and using the postman that previously we have generated a token we will i will copy this inside here once the configuration is done then we have to listen for the events which will be triggered in our laravel project so now let's go and listen to our events for that in my app function in here i will create a window.eco.channel and set it to my public channel to listen to my public channel so after that i will say dot listen public channel event so let's open the laravel project in this side and react project in this side so you guys can understand more clearly let's close this let's close so right now i am inside my public channel so uh, in the laravel and here as you guys can see my channel name is my public channel and also in here my channel name is my public channel and in the lesson part i wrote public channel event which is this the event name event class name so you have to also write this exactly here this here then after that in the react app i will console log the message and with this just for testing purposes then i will create another window.eco for my private channel and in here also let's open the private channel in laravel also i will say window.eco.private my private channel which is this the channel name dot user and in here i for now i will send user id manually you guys can uh, set it dynamically then dot user in id then i will say listen to my private event again same as public channel this is in the listen part private channel event we will type the class name which is private channel event same in here and uh, again i will console log the message that i get so let's um, make it big now in the front end we have to just type that much code to listen for our events and this part for public channel and this one for private one now let's go to our laravel project and let's go to 
web.php in here i will create a new route to trigger my events and we should be able to listen to our events in our react project so let's create the route so in here let's create a test route and in here first we will trigger our chan private channel event then we will trigger our public channel event and at the end we will just return done now let's run our react project also let's open the terminal and in here let's type npm start let's press enter okay our uh, react project is running let's right click and let's go to console and let's also open let's open this in this side and our react project laravel project in this side now let's go to our test route in here let's type slash test and enter now it has been triggered as you guys can see i got both from public channel and from private channel with the user id both so let's uh, enter one more time as you guys can see i got my message and i can change it to anything i want for example in here i will type this is private event and i can change the public event also to public event now let's go back to our projects let's refresh let's clear this and refresh this one enter let's wait now as you guys can see i got this is private event and public event for both of them so hope you guys enjoyed the video and like it and if you have any questions write it down in the comment and don't forget to press the subscribe button.